I just wanna live and let go and just lose control. Just lose control. Hi guys, welcome back. So you're seeing me again. I'm gonna just be looking like this two times this week because you know if you watched my October favorites earlier in the week that it's been rough. It's been rough, so I'm really, really trying and hoping to get back on my schedule as soon as possible. But today, we are going to be doing the worst items that I have found from Shop Miss A lately. I hate doing these, but they can be very, very useful because the site is so overwhelming. It may be a dollar. Some of them are a little bit more now. And now you really got to think about it, what you don't want to waste your money on on the site. Otherwise, you can end up spending so much money and half of it is wasted on cheap products. So let's go ahead and get into this. I think that you guys are going to be pretty shocked by some of the items that I found that I don't really care for. Um, it sucks. <laughs> it's a hard pill to swallow. So let's go ahead and get into this so I can tell you guys why. And maybe if you have the same why as to why you don't like products, you can stay clear. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I have a little thingy here full of stuff. Um, well, it's not full of stuff. It's probably like a handful of things. But let's go ahead and get into this. First off, the UHD Primer Spray. I thought I tried the normal primer spray from AOA. Did not like it. I thought that was ridiculously like you don't need a primer spray. I don't feel like those do very much for you. Um, I thought I'll give it a, I'll give it another go. I find that this is nice to use if you're not going to wear makeup, but that doesn't make it a primer spray. That just kind of makes it a refreshing spray, setting spray, whatever you want to call it, finishing spray. Um, it has alloy, alloy, aloe in it, so it is soothing, but other than that, this is not for makeup. I don't like spray primers. I don't know why. But I just don't personally like them. I don't personally feel like they do anything. So you guys let me know if you like this. But I don't care for that or the green one from AOA. I just don't like the squishy, the squirty, the squirts, the squirt. <laughs> Can you tell I'm going through it? I'm going through it. <laughs> if you guys are wondering though about my makeup, my jewelry, anything that will all, even my nail polish, that will all be down below for you guys along with these items in case they will be for you. I mean, some things are just not for certain people. So that will all be down in the description box if you guys want to check it out. But other than that, let's move on. The next item, it made me mad. It made me mad, okay? Because I first got this one and I believe I got the matte one that's called yogurt or something like that. I might be mixing it up with the actual NYX ones. Um, but these are the AOA Studio XL Long Lasting Shadow Sticks. And I used that one as a lid primer and it worked perfectly. So I was like, oh, these are really good. I want to get more. I got this one in Shimmer Dama and I started noticing like, I am pressing down hard. I started noticing the longer you have these, they just dry out and do nothing. And they pull on my lid so much and so hard. And I'm mid-30s. I can't have things pulling on my lid like that. This, they need to do, it's the packaging, I think. I think it's the packaging. I just ripped the bottom off from it. <laughs> well, anyways, I do think it's the packaging. I think that it's the top. It's letting too much air in and they dry out too quickly. It needs a new formula. Um, AOA is known to change the formulas and then, you know, redistribute the product. And they tell you when they do that. Um, they did that with their gel eyeliners and they nailed it. So I'm hoping that they do that again with these. They're not the best right now. The next one is from Beauty Treats. Um, I don't know where on the site this was or if they had more colors, but I got this lip cram. Lip crayon. I just said lip cram. I swear I haven't started drinking or anything yet. <laughs> it's just a bad day. But it's their like twist up. You can twist it up and down. And this isn't too bad other than, oh, yeah. The smell of it is so overwhelming and powerful and sweet that it made my stomach sick. I could not do it. So if you are like, like if you don't, you can't handle the L'Oreal lipsticks on the drugstore because of the smell, you won't be able to do it. And talking about that, these lipsticks, it just came out. Now, I'm actually wearing one. Which one is it? I think it's Love. It's either Lover or Fling. I put over top another um, AOA lippy. Oh, it was Fling today. I put 
I used this over top of another Liffy from AOA. They're very, very good. Like, the color pigment is beautiful. They're very moisturizing. However, these have almost a taste and a smell that never goes away. And it almost gives me a headache. It's worse than the L'Oreal lipsticks. So, I love the packaging. I love the formula. But the fragrance in these, they need to take out immediately. It is almost too bothersome for even me. And things like that don't usually bug me too much. This is the L'Oreal lipsticks times 10. Like, they don't need to add that much fragrance into a lip product. I love these. And I really wish that they would have made them so they, they were not scented like that. I still, like... I smell this, and I keep smelling it, even after I've been having this on my lips for a long time. And even the L'Oreal lipsticks don't do that that long. So that was a big problem for me. I probably will still use them because I just love them, but I'm not going to be able to keep them on for a long time because the smell is a little irritating. A lot irritating. Way too much. The next thing is also something new that came out. I don't know about the other ones because this is the first one that I've tried out, but it was a complete fail. Um, I told you guys earlier in the week that I tried to film before, so I'd have four videos for you guys this week, but I messed up my makeup, had to take it off, and then I ended up um, bottoming out my blood sugar and had a panic attack, so I couldn't film. This was what messed up my makeup. The AOA quad and the, they came out with four, the Flower Child quads. And this was actually the one I was most excited about. This is the Herb Garden one because I love greens. I love everything about it. So I tried this out. The top two shades are great. The Shimmer, the Flesh Tone one, perfect. Those greens suck so bad. So bad. I was packing on the color, trying so hard not to even try to blend it because it wasn't... The moment that I tried to blend it, it literally, like all right here, was all white. It would just get rid of the outer color. It was not working. I even tried going back and fixing it with other palettes, better quality formulas, and it just was screwed up. Then my whole face down here turned green, and I had to take my makeup off. So I would not. I would suggest using these if you're only going to use them as more of a liner and get them wet and then like use them as a liner. That would work for this one. I can't tell you if the other one's the purple blue and I think it was like a pinkish red one. I don't know if they are good or not yet. I haven't tried them but I'm going to be and obviously I have to try them when I'm not going to be filming just in case. <laughs> It just sucks. I really, like, I was excited about those and the lipsticks. And even though I will find a way to use them, they're not the greatest. And if I had known, I probably wouldn't have purchased them. The next thing, which is really sad, it's from Amuse. I picked up three of their single smoky eye shadows. And these were worse than that flower child quad. These did nothing. They are so powdery that I had more eyeshadow color right here on my nose from all the color just flicking off the brush and hitting me on the inner corner of my nose. I could not get any of these colors, even this dark brown. I could not get any of these to actually stay where I wanted them to. And look at that color. Warm tone dream. I wanted this to be good. I wanted it to be good and these were not good for me. These were really really bad So I'm not I don't recommend these and I'm not getting any more myself Another thing that I heard so many good things about and I think that in a pinch this would work and it would be great Um, but it's just not for me and my I guess I should say aging skin. Oh my god What is that thing on the ceiling? Dana there's something really gross and big crawling at me. Oh, God. I will be right back. Okay, I'm alive. All is well. He got it. <laughs> it was a box elder bug. I hate those things. I just hate bugs in general. Blech. But anyway, this I grabbed from the site, and at first I didn't even know how to use it. But if I had my way, I would have gotten my own packaging for it to put in it. Um, and I had something that I was going to use for it that was better than just a cardboard box that it comes in. But then it didn't work out for me, so I was like, I don't want to do that. This is the Merit 
Maritook or Maritake the rice powder and so many of you said you love this so this is obviously a product that a lot of people can love so this is something that you can look into if you don't have oily or aging skin like I do this made me look like a mime and it went into every little fine line and wrinkle that I had and made me look like I was 80 years old and I barely touched it with the brush barely and when you get it you open it and it just comes like this like a chunk of chalk and I'm literally after this going to give it to my son as chalk to use on the sidewalk because that's literally what it feels like how it acts and how it performs I'm gonna smell it just to see but no it it even on my fingers when I try to rub it in the white stays I just I don't really care for this because I have better you know but if you don't and you don't have the budget it is something that is an option for a lot of people all right and lastly this you can find basically anywhere um it was just kind of weird luck that I saw on shop miss a every now and then you can see things that you could probably get somewhere regularly at Walmart or the Dollar Tree or something and you're like oh wow okay so this is from Vaseline and it's their blue seal it's for your lips it's the rich conditioning jelly in cocoa butter I thought this was going to be really good, or at least I hoped it was, but it is so disgusting and goopy. No. I'm very picky about my lip products. You know I'm a jelly jam whore. I love the AOA jelly jams. I go through them like like a drink. I, I use so many jelly jams. So many. That, that was too much. Too thick, too gross, too wet, all out of my lip line and like all over my face. It was not a good experience, so I wouldn't recommend it. You see like the brand name and you're like, oh, ooh, that's such a good deal. And you grab it, but I, I really wouldn't. <laughs> I really wouldn't. It's not that great. Maybe if like your kid has chapped lips and they really need a thick coating on it, maybe use it then. But mm -mm, not for this one. Alright, so so far that is the stuff that I've been trying out that I haven't really liked too much. I do like the lipsticks. I like the formula. I think they're worth it. I mean, they're beautiful. Um, I just don't like the smell. I don't like the smell. I mean, even this Beauty Treats Lip Crayon, this was a good quality. Like, the actual consistency of it, I mean, it's bright pink, and I didn't realize that. It's not like I would be wearing that every day but the it's not like it's a bad quality it's very opaque it's very beautiful but the smell of it it's really it's like migraine migraine triggering I guess you could say and I do get migraines so I can't have those triggers and the smell of those lipsticks and that lip cram cram I said it again lip cram they would just cause headaches so I know a lot of people are sensitive to that. So I wanted to let you guys know. So I will link everything down below along with everything about me now down below for you guys. If you need it for reference or anything like that. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please do. We do a whole lot of Shot Miss A on this channel. And I, of course, will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.